Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about how to graph linear equations using the x and y intercepts. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So again, our topic today is all about graphing linear equations using the x and y intercepts. By the way, what is the x and y intercepts? So guys, the x intercept and the y intercepts are the points wherein the line intersected the x and y axis. So for you to understand well, we have here the word x intercept, which is represented by letter A, commonly represented by letter A, and your y intercept is commonly represented by letter B. And for you to understand more about the x and y intercept, let's say for example, I will give you an x-intercept, which is 5, and y-intercept, which is 2. In this case, guys, your x-intercept is actually a point, therefore, it has the coordinates. The coordinates of a, an x-intercept is represented by a, 0, while your y-intercept is represented by 0, comma, b. So we can replace a by 5 because your x-intercept is 5. Therefore, if your x-intercept is 5, the coordinates of your x-intercept is 5, comma, 0. And since your b or the y-intercept is equal to 2, we can replace this variable b by 2. Therefore, the coordinates of your y-intercept are 0, comma, 2. Now, let's plot or let us locate the location of your x-intercept and y-intercept and let us graph a linear equation with this kind of x and y-intercepts. So I have here a meter stake. In your case, you can use your ruler and graphing paper. So for the x-intercept, guys, it is located along the x-axis, again, along the x-axis. And this is 5, comma 0. So we have here, this is location because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the location of your x-intercept. This is the, these are the coordinates 0, comma 5. Now, we have here 0, comma 2 as the coordinates of your y-intercept. So, to plot or to locate your y-intercept, it is along the y-axis. And since this is positive, it is the upper part of the y-axis and here's the location of your y-intercept which is 0, 2. By the way guys, I do have an error here. This should be 5, 0. And remember, we can define or we can draw a straight line using two points. So it is possible for us to draw a linear equation, a straight line, using two points or the y, the x and the y intercept. So let me graph or draw the straight line connecting the x and y intercept. And here is the graph of a linear equation with the x and y intercept which is 5 and 2. So guys, in example number 1, I showed you if you're given the direct value of the x and y intercept. Now, I have here another example wherein we are given equations and we will try to graph the following linear equations using the x and y intercept. And I have two conditions here. First, your equation is in slope intercept form and the other, your equation is in standard form. So the question here, sir, how are we going to graph the linear equations, these linear equations using the x and y intercepts if we have the given equations. Siyempre, you need to solve for the x and y intercept. First, to solve for the x intercept, guys, to solve for the x intercept, you need to assign the value of y b equal to 0. Again, if you're solving for the x intercept, assign y b equal to 0 or y is equal to 0. And since you have this, you can replace this by 0. So you have now 
replacing y by 0, it will become 0 is equal to 4x plus 2. Okay? And to solve for, we need to solve for x, guys. We need to solve for x. And to solve for x, I will remove 2 here, or I will transpose here uh, to, the, to, the, to the other side. That's why, what will I do? is that I will subtract both sides of the equation by 2. So we have here negative 2 is equal to, or minus 2 is equal to 4x plus 2 minus 2. And simplifying 2 minus 2, this will give you the answer of 0. And then our new equation now is 4x is equal to negative 2. And to finally solve 4x, you need to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And then simplify, simplify your x now, and you need to simplify negative 2 over 4, and the simplified form of this fraction is negative 1 half or 0 0.5. Pwede siya maging 1 half or 0, negative 0 0.5. So this is now the value of our x in which, this is our x-intercept in which the coordinates of this, uh, this x-intercept are negative one half comma zero because your y is equal to zero and your x is equal to negative one half. Now we're not yet done because we also need to call to calculate for the y-intercept. In the reverse process, since here we calculated for the x-intercept, the value of y is equal to zero, and now since we are calculating for the y-intercept, we will assign x b equal to 0. Okay? So what will happen? If your x is equal to 0, you will replace this x by 0. And it will give you y is equal to 4 times 0. Again, I am replacing this variable x by 0. And it became 4 times 0 plus 2. And simplifying this, guys, as you can see, 4 times 0 is 0. So you have y is equal to 0 plus 2. And simplifying this, y plus 0, a uh, 0 plus 2, this will give you y is equal to 2. This is now your y-intercept. Ibig sabihin yun, guys, the coordinates of your y-intercept are 0, 2. Sir, so y 0, 2. Your x is equal to 0, your y is equal to 2. Now, we have the x, since we already have the x and y-intercept, we can easily graph y is equal to 4x plus 2 using this pattern. So, so what will happen? This is our x-intercept. We will plot this along the x-axis. This is negative 1 half comma 0 or 0, negative 0 0.5 comma 0. So the location here of negative 1 half is between 0 and negative 1. And here is negative 1. So that is between 0 and this is 0. Eh? So here is the location of your x-intercept, which is negative one-half comma zero. And as for the y-intercept, plotting this, again, that is along the y-axis, that is zero comma two, zero, one and two, and here it is. This is your y-intercept, which is zero comma two. And syempre, you need to connect the dots for you to create a straight line. And here's a straight line. Okay. So finally, here's the graph of your equation y is equal to 4x plus 2. And now, we can label, we can put label, importante ang label guys, para walang confusion. So we have y is equal to 4x plus 2. This is the graph of that equation. I hope now you learned something from the first example and the second example that we have. If we are given uh, directly the value of the x-intercept and the y-intercept, and here we are given the equation. Now let's move on with item number two. In item number two, we are given the equation 2x plus y is equal to 6. Okay? We have 2x plus y is equal to 6. So what you will do, guys, is the same process. You will calculate for the x-intercept and we will calculate for the y-intercept. In calculating for the x-intercept, again, your y is equal to 0. So, 
Using this equation, we will substitute y b equal to 0. We have 2x plus 0 is equal to 6. Remember, I replaced y by 0. Now, simplifying this, this will give us 2x is equal to 6. And to finally solve for x, you can divide the whole equation by 2. Divide this by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 3. Therefore, the coordinates of your x-intercepts are 3, 0. And as for the y-intercept, your x is equal to 0. Since your x is equal to 0, you can replace this variable x by 0 and it will become 2 times 0 plus y is equal to 6. And simplifying this, this will become 0 and you only have y is equal to 6. Ganun lang siya kadali. And syempre, what are the coordinates of your y-intercept? The coordinates are 0, 6. Now, we are ready to graph or to plot your x and the y-intercept. Now, let's start with the x-intercept, which is 3, 0. Along the x-axis, since this is 3, from the origin 1, 2, and 3. This is your x-intercept. Okay? You have 3, 0. And as for the y-intercept, you have 0, 6. So from this from the cent from the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this is the location of the second point, which is your y-intercept, which is 0, 6. And now we can connect the two plotted points to create a straight line, which is your graph. And finally, we are done graphing it. And lastly, you need to put the label, which is the original equation. You have here 2x plus y is equal to 6. That's it, guys. Uh, if you have any question about this video, feel free to comment down below. And I will try to answer your questions about this. If you have any question or any requested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So, guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to, to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!